Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and oh how I've missed you all so much. Today I have my Pamela's eyeshadows update. I know it's been a really long time in the making. We had some family stuff we had to take care of so we ended up going home for part of July and therefore some of my projects have kind of been scattered all around. So I'm a little bit behind on projects and progress but I do have some progress to share and a new pan so let's get into it. I do want to take a moment to just appreciate the makeup look today. I'm using the new Nomad. This is the Fête de Provence palette and this is so beautiful. Love it. And then I also have the gloss in Le Fête. Uh, I'm in love with the Nomad palette. So if you want to see a dedicated video to that palette, let me know. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a TikTok or a reel or if I want to do an actual video. But let's go ahead and get into the progress this month. So the first shade I have to talk about comes from my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus palette. And the shade I've been working on is Hello Salem. So that is this mauve shade up at the top. I used this shade a total of four times this month for a grand total of 23 uses in the project. And I have used this shade primarily as a transition shade, as a crease shade. And I did use this one a lot in conjunction with my Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette, which I'm using in my A to Z project pan. I really like the formula of this one. It's a very creamy matte formula. And although I've surpassed my 20 use threshold, I do want to continue using it because I do feel like it would be possible to hit pan in the near future, especially now that things are kind of winding down and my schedule is getting back to normal and I'm wearing more makeup. I feel like I could actually work on this one and get a lot of progress in it. So I am going to keep this shade in the project. I have loved using it and I can't wait to see where we get to next month. The next shade comes from my least favorite palette in my entire collection, which is ironic because when I started this project, I actually really liked this palette, but this project does not seem to get enough of this palette. This is the Frozen 2 Anna palette from ColourPop, and the shade I have is Wind, which is this top shade, and I think if I turn it just right, you can see the little glimmer. Oh, I just had it. I just had it. I'm trying to figure out how to get the glimmer. But there is a teeny tiny baby pan in this shade. I used it 13 times this month for a grand total of 74 uses to hit pan in this. And I did have some wear on it prior to rolling it in the project. This is one of my older palettes and more loved palettes. And I do have three pans in this palette now. I am very excited to be rolling this shade out. It was in my project last year, my 2021 pan, those eyeshadows. And it has been in the project, I think, since the beginning of this year. And I am so happy to have this out finally. So thank the heavens. I am so done. The day I hit pan on this, I sent a picture to Antonio and he didn't see the pan in the picture. So I had to film a video like on Snapchat and zoom in super, super close on the pan so you could see it but I'm very happy to have this out. I used it primarily as a transition shade and crease shade, and I used it mostly with neutral looks. Over the past month, I actually combined it a lot with my Jeffree Star Banana palette, and I really enjoyed that. I thought that was very pretty. There were some shimmer shades in that palette that I thought looked very good with Wind, and I have also used this with orange shadows to do like orangey neutral looks, but overall, I'm very happy to have this shade rolling out. Cannot wait to see what we roll in next. The next shade I want to talk about comes from my ColourPop Lush Life palette, and the shade I have is Monsoon. Monsoon is this really deep blue at the bottom. The packaging is so reflective, so hopefully you don't get blinded. But I have only used this one two times this month for a grand total of six uses over the past three months. And I do have a rule that if a shade is in my project for three months and I have not hit pan, or I've used it 20 times, I can choose to roll it out. And because it has been in for three months, and I've only used it six times. I do think I am going to roll this shade out at this point. It is a very pretty shade, but it is very pigmented. So even if I did try and keep it in for 20 uses, I doubt I would be able to get even close to hitting pan. I did use this for my 4th of July makeup this year though, and I really liked how that looked. I can't remember which palettes I used. I wanna say I used like my Morphe 25L palette and maybe a different one, I can't remember, but I used like kind of a rainbow palette and used this to deepen up the blue side. It was like a red, white, and blue look. And I really liked how that looked, um, but overall, I'm just not feeling the shade. The other time I used this shade this month, I think I used it as like a lower lash line smoked out shade or a faux liner, I can't really remember. But I am just ready to roll this one out. I did pay my dues, I left it in for three months, and I'm ready to 
let this palette go back to the drawer. Next up, we have my Natasha Denona Love Palette, and the shade I've been working on is Giving, which is this pink shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna try and hold the palette back a little bit because I've gotten some complaints about people seeing my messy desk, so sorry about that. But this is Giving. I've used this shade nine times this month for a grand total of 35 uses, and I actually popped it in my inner corner today over my inner corner highlight. So I used the Nomad Provence palette and the Polynesian Paradise palette, and then I used Giving right on top of my inner corner just to add a little bit of sparkle and see if I could get some more use out of it. As you can see, I feel like I'm pretty close to hitting pan on it. I have a pan in transition, transparent, not transition. I have a pan in transparent up here, and I feel like if you kind of compare and contrast the two pans, I feel like I'm pretty close to pan. So I definitely think it is in the next month that I will hit pan on this shade. I've used this primarily as a lid topper over the past month. I found my favorite way to use this shade is if I do like an all matte berry look using like my Naked Cherry and Hello Salem that you saw earlier packing like a matte tan or a matte white on the lid and then topping it with giving I find that's very pretty it gives such a natural glow and I really like how that looks I've been using it primarily that way with a dense packing brush to tap it on top but I do think we are getting very close to pan next month I'm putting it out in the universe is going to be our best update this year so far so Stay tuned for giving. The next shade I have is Fur As Black As Black from my ColourPop Hocus Pocus Witching Hour. And the shade Fur As Black As Black is this bottom teal shade. And I'll be honest, I have not used this a single time this month. Like I said, things got a little crazy. We had some unexpected stuff we had to take care of. And this just did not make it into any looks. I feel like I might have used it once and I just didn't record it as like a lash line because I'm pretty sure I remember using it at least once as like a lash line shade, but I don't have any photos to back that claim up or any progress written in my notebook. So I'm just gonna go with what I have written down, which is zero uses, but hopefully we have a use on this by next month. And last but not least, we have another shade out of my ColourPop and Frozen 2 on a palette and the shade is Adventure, which is this purple shimmer. So like I said, we have three pans in here already and Adventure I've used twice and both times I've used it as a faux liner. So I just took a liner brush and just kind of like smoked it on my lash line and kind of like did like a little smoky wing moment. I do have the corner of this pan is a little broken, so I'm gonna kind of cheat and try and pan in that corner. Normally I just kind of go for the middle, but because I have a broken section, I'm thinking of just working out of that. Cheating, but I have enjoyed using this. I'm hoping that I will hit pan on this fairly quickly, especially if I'm using it as a liner and using those very precise brushes that I can get this out of my project because I am so tired of seeing this palette in my everyday makeup drawer. I pretty much had this palette in my drawer every day since last summer. So I am excited to potentially hit pan on it in the next couple months and get this thing out of my, my drawer. So with that being said, we have two openings to roll in. So let's go ahead and do my random number generator. I have it on my laptop in front of me. So I'm going to find a pen and then I'm going to tell you which numbers I get and which palettes they are. First number is 645 and the second number is 1860. I know I have a lot of shadows. It is a problem. I don't really want to talk about it. So. My immediate reaction to these palettes is I'm not sure how I feel about them, but let me go ahead and grab them and we will talk about it together. I also forgot to share my color story because you girls awful at remembering swatches, but here are the four shades that are staying in. But the first shade I rolled in, it comes from my ColourPop and Kathleen Light's The Zodiac palette. And the shade I rolled in is the Pisces, which is this bottom aqua shade. So I feel like that could actually be pretty interesting, especially for summer. Very pretty. I don't know how much I'll be able to work it into looks, but I feel like I could work this in as like an inner corner underneath like a white or something, um, or just do fun aqua looks. I feel like that would be fun. So I feel like this one could get some use on it by next month. I can't remember the last time I used this palette, so it's good that we rolled it in. And the second shade I rolled in comes from my Melt Amori Mary Pulses palette. So the shade I rolled in is Nueva Vida, which is this really pretty rusty brick red, maybe? Um, I'm pretty sure this means new life, if I'm correct. I'm still trying to learn my Spanish, but I think this will 
look very nice with some of the other shades in the project. I feel like this will go very well both with Adventure and then maybe even like Hello Salem and Giving. I feel like there's a lot I could do with that. So while it's not my preferred color story, I feel like there's a lot I could do with it. It's actually giving me like Kaleidos Futurism, like the pink palette vibes. I feel like there's a lot I can do with this new color story and the aqua that I rolled in from the other palette, I feel like might look really good with some of these blues and greens at the top. So I am very excited to see the progress I can make in the next month. Well, that is all my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next update. Bye friends.